it started with a, uh, a little bit of a vision problem. Joe Garrett recounts the condition that first led him to an eye doctor and then a brain specialist who had him undergo an MRI. She said, there's something there. And I said, well, what could it be? And she said, it could be a tumor. A second and more comprehensive brain scan found the tumor. Although benign, the growth threatened Joe's eyesight. Joe then consulted Dr. Alexander Mason, a Winship Cancer Institute neurosurgeon here at Emory St. Joseph's Hospital. He immediately recommended the, the gamma knife. A gamma knife is not a knife at all. But rather, it's a type of radiation treatment called stereotactic radiosurgery. This device at this time is the best combination of all we've come to learn about stereotactic radiosurgery for the brain. Gamma Knife delivers many precisely focused radiation beams to treat tumors and other problems that can occur in the brain. This is a, just a single day procedure. You come in in the morning, you have your MRI, we carefully plan and identify the tumor and the important structures that we don't want to have affected by radiation, and then we apply that radiation and then that patient goes home the same day. The most advanced stereotactic radiosurgery machine is the ICON and Emory St. Joseph's is one of only a handful of hospitals in the country and the only medical center in Georgia to have the device. It can be ideal for someone with brain metastases to avoid surgery, to avoid whole brain radiation. There's no pain involved. It's just basically a, a table with a, a very comfortable pillow and they can just sleep while the machine does the work. One innovation of the ICON is that certain patients can now wear a specialized mask to stabilize their head during the procedure, rather than the standard metal head frame that must be screwed into the skull. It's a mesh mask that we heat up. Patients describe it as kind of having a little mini facial because it's a nice warm mask. It molds it right onto your face. Mostly we treat brain tumors. It can also be used to treat a facial pain syndrome called trigeminal neuralgia and can be used to treat a certain brain blood vessel malformation called arteriovenous malformations or, or AVMs. Unlike whole brain radiation, Gamma Knife preserves cognitive function by avoiding critical brain structures. My tumor is in an area where uh, it, it wraps around my optic nerves and many other nerves in, involved as well. And if this tumor were to actually grow, it would eventually cause me to go blind. Joe Garrett would instead be Emory St. Joseph's first patient to undergo treatment on the new machine. A lot of times we were unable to treat um, tumors that were very close to the optic nerve, to the motor strip, um, near the brain stem, because the doses with the frame-based system were too high. You don't treat the healthy brain tissue and therefore Patients don't have memory side effects, which is often seen with other types of radiation treatment to the brain. I had no side effects whatsoever, no headache, nothing. It just feels great to have that technology and know that they could pinpoint it with such accuracy to get the bad tissue and leave all the good tissue fine. <laughs>